So this is just going to be a quick tip video on uh, how to merge shapes and uh, it's a question that gets asked quite often. So I'm just going to create a new composition, I'm just going to create a rectangle tool from the shape, shapes menu and I'm going to create an ellipse. Now the thing to remember is to basically you want to put both shapes under contents. You don't want to create the rectangle inside of the ellipse. Hierarchy is very important and so is the order. So if you want to merge these paths, um, you don't click both of you can see this add arrow here. So we just we actually just want to select contents and uh, add a merge path in. So basically you want the order shape shape operation. So just make sure the merge path isn't created inside the rectangle or the ellipse. And now as you can see, if I just click away, it's done a merge operation. And um, it's basically got its own stroke now after the merge path and it's got its own fill kind of independent from the stroke and fill of each shape and I can just change that fill to white and if I go to merge paths there's also a subtract operation so the rectangles getting subtracted from the ellipse and if I change the order it does it the other way around so basically the order is very important as well and if I go here intersect obviously it's taking the intersection point of uh, both shapes and exclude intersections it's like an invert operation of that and we can do some cool stuff like we can keyframe the path of both shapes create kind of strange effects um, oops, I actually can keyframe size there. Okay, so position. <laughs> what is going on? It's not keyframing it. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, there's so many transform options. I think you have to go to the transform of ellipse one and keyframe there. So yeah, just go to the transform. Now it should keyframe, finally. Yeah. So we can create these kind of funky effects, um, things like that. I'm just gonna get rid of those keyframes for now. And um, yeah, it can be quite confusing because the path has a size position, but then so does the rectangle transform. And that can be the kind of confusing thing about shapes is like all these options. And there's also, um, if you look at rectangle, rectangle has its own anchor point, and then ellipse has, it, has its own anchor point, but then the shape layer has its own anchor points as well. So it can get quite confusing. And just going to do an add operation back to the basic. Um, now, contents, we can also add, besides merge path, you got different types of operations here. So we got repeater where we can just like create many clones. Again, where you place this is quite important. So I can drag and drop the repeater in rectangle. And as you can see now, it's repeated the rectangle it's made it kind of really long. Um, same if I put the repeater in the ellipse, it's kind of re repeated the ellipses. And that combined operation is then merged with the rectangle. So there's a quite a lot of opportunity for some cool effects. And then we can like keyframe even the copies, you know, and keyframe things like that. And um, what else have we got? We've got pucker and bloat, some crazy things like kind of path uh, operations. And oh yeah, I guess this should be another tutorial, but trim paths is very handy. I'm not sure if it's gonna work here, but uh, trim paths, is at best uh, it works when there's no fill. And what that does, it, it kind of is cool for creating line effects like this. 
where you need to kind of draw an outline animating on. So that's what Trim Paths does, it's very handy. But yeah, I just wanted to make a basic uh, introduction to the shape layer, shape tools, and uh, I don't want to go in too deep. Might just do one more, uh, and then you've got basically kind of just different deformation uh, operations, wiggle paths, just adds an animated wiggle on. So yeah, the shape tools are very powerful. Have a play around with it. Just remember to, uh, to pay attention to the hierarchy, the way uh, things are ordered. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.